Hey guys, I'm all back again. Welcome to day 78 in the life of the Google Pixel 7a. I seriously wasn't expecting to cover this phone for that much longer, but my Pixel Fold is taking forever to come. I believe it's been pushed back until August 8th or something. Originally, it was supposed to come on July 25th, but here we are still playing around with the Pixel 7a until my Pixel Fold comes. And within the, the last week or so, I got my first newborn. So now I'm going to do some extensive coverage just from that angle, how, how it is like to use the phone in the life of being a dad for the first time. So I'll walk you through a day or a week in a life with this phone, I guess. It's been a hectic week to say the least. Um, but yeah, we're to start off with the first day. We're just running off into the delivery room to spending at least 8 to 12 hours in the hospital. Uh, luckily, it's pretty convenient and comfortable there. They have charging ports nearby. I bought my portable charging bank. Make sure I bought an extra long wire and other battery in the Pixel 7a is not that good. So I had to make sure I'm fully charged at all time. And for the most part, we're just busy doing the labor stuff, pushing, encouraging, uh, making sure everything goes smoothly. So I'm not spending a whole, a whole bunch of time on my phone. But in the early process, when we're, when we're waiting just to kind of, everything to kind of go through, there's some downtime. I play my phone here and there. Um, at that point, I don't really need to worry about battery, battery much due to the fact that I always have a charger nearby and I know in my previous video I always complain about how the battery sucks on this phone and it, the phone does get hot but with a newborn on the way it's not going to be a lot of time to play on a phone and use it extensively so I haven't noticed a phone overheating as much and then being a dad for the first time is crucial to have a camera that is super reliable and Pixel 7a and those are going to offer one of the best photos that smartphone has to offer so having that peace of mind is pretty nice I was pretty excited to snap a few photos on this phone even the nurse complimented on the uh, camera quality as well so that's pretty good to hear but now i'm not going to be sharing any uh pictures of my kids just in case of my kid <laughs> just in case when he gets older he doesn't want to be on the internet i'll let him uh, make his own choices but for now these private photos are working out great for me uh, i expect a lot of great qualities in terms of photos and videos so pretty excited about that one of the first duties that i had to do once the baby come out is run outside grab some food coffee for the wife make sure she's happy um and when i noticed when walking outside this phone it is pretty dark compared to the Moto Razor Plus that I was previously using for three weeks or so and the reason for that is the peak brightness I think is only about a thousand for the 7a compared to the 1400 for the Moto Razor Razor Plus it may not seem like that much of a difference but it does impact me when I'm walking outside I notice that it's much darker on the Pixel 7a to see under direct sunlight and make sure it was on full brightness which it, which it was with the Razer Plus, everything's automatically and adjusts at the perfect peak brightness, so I never really need to think about that, even when it's bright outside. But for the 7a, it is darker, you have to play around with it and squint a little bit, turn your phone at a certain angle just to make sure you can see it outside. I mean, this phone is half the cost, so I do expect you have to make some sacrifices here and there, and one of the sacrifices is just using this phone outside in peak brightness with the sudden hitting right at it. Good news is I'm not outside walking around every single day in the bright sun, so in the few occasions that I do have to go to it, um, it does stand out to me. Another thing I decided to test out recently is Android 14 beta. Someone in the comments let me know that the battery life has improved significantly, so I decided to check it out. I'm gonna test it out so you guys don't need to do that with um anytime you're using beta mode expect to have a lot of bugs hence is why it's called beta but i'll leave the link in the description below if you're interested in trying it out i just did a initially i didn't even know how to sign up so i just did a quick google search and ran across this article but essentially you have to go to the google website sign up to be a beta user and it's pretty straightforward and you get approved instantly initially this mode is just meant for developers to get a sneak preview play around with it and develop more um, apps or integration or anything like that but i know google has been at least more open about having the software available to more people and i was surprised how easy it was to sign up and the google pixel 7a is among many of the most recent pixel that qualify for this latest beta so i decided to give it out i give it a shot because how bad can they get away it, the bar is already pretty low for me so any uh I'm pretty I'm down to try anything new. If you're using the phone as your primary driver, there may be some hesit uh, hesitancy to upgrade um, to the beta. But for me, I'm not too worried about it. I decided to give it a shot anyways. And it is a pretty huge file. After you sign up for the beta, you go into your 
setting the software update and it is a two gigabyte file. I think it took me like an hour or two just to update and install everything. I was walking back and forth between the house, going to um, pick up some food. So it was jumping on and off Wi-Fi. So make sure if you're doing that, make sure you go into the settings and hit use cellular. That way it can continue downloading on 5G while you're walking around. So after that, pretty much started my day at 3 p.m. once everything is installed and ready to go. My phone was only about 75%, but this phone takes forever to charge. So it just took it for a quick spin, see how it is on the first day. And when I pulled out the notification shade, I noticed at 3 p.m. it says it's going to last until 3 a.m., which is 13 hours. This is a big change compared to previously when I wake up at 6 a.m. It would say my phone only, only going to last to 1 or 2. At least for now, Google's making a bigger promise. So that was a uh, 4 to 6 hours promise, but now Google is suggesting that it'll last up to 13 hours. But we'll see how long it lasts. And by 4.15 or so, I left to go to my mom's house to pick her up in order to meet her grandson for the first time. And between me picking her up, dropping her off, it was at least three hours both way of screen on time with just the GPS on. Initially I had it on my wireless charger, but I noticed that it wasn't really charging. I was still losing a percent every few minutes or so. So I think the thermal issue hasn't been resolved. It's still draining quicker than it's actually charging. So I decided to just unplug it completely and see how long it's gonna last. And somewhere along the way while I was driving, I noticed my GPS just got, the highway mode got turned off at some point. I think this might've been before I even up, updated to um, Android 14. I'm not even sure how it happened. You had to go pretty deep, in, deep into the settings to find it. And I noticed it while I was driving in general, it's always telling me to get off and exit when I know where I'm going and <laughs> the highway's more efficient unless there's traffic. And yeah, I decided to uh, dig in the setting and for some reason, highway avoid highway mode was turned on. Um, so I had to click that back on. So make sure you check your maps every now and then if you notice it's doing something weird. For me, I like to have the GPS on to to see the traffic, avoid accidents, avoid cops. So make sure it is not avoiding highway by any chance. I'm not sure how that got changed. I don't know, I have a conspiracy theory that Google is working with the gas company to always bring me the most inefficient route. He likes always taking me the longest road possible to burn more gas. And it's always bringing me on the most challenging route as well. It's always making me make left hand turns. I personally hate left hand turns because if you're driving, you're always going to be at fault regardless because the other car is always going to have it right away. So you can, whenever possible, try to avoid left hand turns. It is equivalent to you rear ending somebody else. You're always going to be more than 50 percent at fault. I used to work insurance so I already know the deal there and never want to be put in that position. So whenever possible just try to avoid it. I know in some cases you can't but just a small spiel there. But in general first day phone was at 75% at 3 p.m. I believe by nighttime I hit 15% at around 9 30 or so so that's about six and a half batteries so pretty big improvement. I guess it wasn't at 100% when I initially started. So like I mentioned earlier, I had a GPS running with the screen on for three hours when I brought grandma over, took a bunch of photos, we caught a short videos here and there. So I guess there has been some improvement in theory is well, the battery is going to last another hour or so. So that's at least seven or eight hours. And if the phone was at 100%, I would imagine it'll be anywhere from eight to 10 hours. So at least we're on the right track there. When I first got this phone, that was how it was lasting the first few days. But towards the end, I'm not sure what happened. I started getting four to six hours. So, so far, Android 14 beta looks pretty promising. We'll see, um, I'll keep testing it out on a full day just to see how it goes. But at least for today, everything's been working out great. I was expecting much more bugs and errors. I mean, given I haven't really done much on this phone, it's play Pokemon Go. Here and there when I have a chance. I use the camera, I use CPS, but that's pretty much it. But when I'm navigating around using the phone, I haven't encountered any crashes or anything like that. So for the most part, if you are a somewhat light user, I think it is a pretty stable update if you want to give it a shot. I only use it for six to seven hours or so, but I haven't noticed anything that stood out to me yet. I'll do another deeper dive the following day, so when I have the phone for a full day on Android 14 beta, see how it goes. But so far, it's looking promising. Um, I do see a boost in battery. It's not anything life-changing, but it was much better than previously, where I felt like I had to be chained to a charger all day long. It appeared that the standby time has been improved, so really look forward to that. Overall, Pixel 7a is a great phone for dads. If you look for a reliable phone with a great camera, We'll see how the battery life stands. 
with the new update, but so far it's looking pretty promising. Charging speed could be a little bit faster, home could be a little bit cooler, but for now, there has been some improvement, and I hope. I know at some point I was almost giving up on this phone, but with Android 14 beta, there's uh, definitely hope on the way. I'll wait to use this phone a little bit further before giving another verdict. But hope you guys have been enjoying this series so far with the long extensive coverage. I know people, when they first get the phone, they review it for a couple of weeks. But it's always changing. I like to cover the phone over long periods of, uh, long period of time to see how it age, to see all the improvement and all the things that go wrong along the way and all the things that do get fixed. So hopefully you guys find all this information to be helpful. So for now, I'll try to cover this phone whenever I can. I'm probably not going to do daily videos, but if I can, I will try to. But at the bare minimum, I will push out a video a week and look forward to the Pixel Fold arriving. But for now, the 7 is getting me through just fine. But as usual, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Please check out my other daily blogs if you haven't already. And see you guys over there.